Hello everyone, my name is Ed Hammerly. This is my uh, chicken coop and flock. Uh, you may have seen an, another video that I did regarding the coop and a tour through it and so forth and how, we, uh, how I designed it. Uh, but today we're doing, um, we had a rooster here at our, uh, in our flock that we were unaware of. And due to the fact that the rooster, um, you can't have them in urban and suburban areas because of the noises that they make and so forth, we had to get rid of the, the rooster and we didn't want to waste the meat or, or send it that's on its way, uh, we decided to butcher it. And I, I, used, I used a video on YouTube, um, basically a survival skills by Russ. Uh, and I'll post this, or I'll, I'll connect it to my video here so that you, have, uh, you can take a look at it. But it's what I used as a guide to do this. Um, but you'll see, actually I found that he's so good at it, um, he's, a, he's, a, he's a, you know, a farmer or a woodsman or a hunter, he, he, he did the process so well that uh, he almost makes it seem too easy. So uh, I wanted to show you uh, what I ran into when I was um, when I butchered the chicken for the first time. I had never done it before. This is my rookie experience, and some of the issues or what I found, um, some of the things that Russ didn't mention that he probably just takes for granted. Um, in addition to that, the, the other reason why we butchered the chicken, and I, I included my children in the video that you'll see, is that... Um, um, we wanted them to experience and understand where food comes from and I, this was a good lesson in what it takes to prepare food uh, for the table and maybe if you thought ever thought about throwing that piece of meat out when you didn't finish or not or, or wasting it at least you have a better understanding of of what it takes to get there and and why you should appreciate it a little a little bit more than we, what we probably do um Additionally, you know, we take good care of our chickens. They eat organic food. Uh, they're not given any antibiotics and so forth. So it's, it was a healthier meal as well. So uh, take a look at my uh, virgin experience here and let me know what you think. Thank you. And as I've already mentioned, with the advent of large commercial farming, drugs, and processed food, we've lost the ability to take care of ourselves and provide healthy, localized food. In the future, sustainability will be the key. And we'll go back, and we are going back, to the way we did things decades ago. Eddie. There he is. Get, get, go, go, now. Hey, get him in the chicken coop. You got him, Eddie. All right. Ready? Let go. Got it. All right, things turn bad rather quickly here. My first tips. One is make sure you have a very sharp knife. But more importantly, absolutely make sure that you get in between the feathers so that the knife touches the skin. This is really important with a rooster since their neck feathers are larger and there's more of them. I made this mistake multiple times. You will be amazed how strong a feather quill is. You're not cutting through it. I won't show any further video. Ultimately, I made a large enough laceration to get the job done. I only wish it had gone a little smoother for both me and the chicken. By watching many videos, including Russ's video, I was told that this was going to be the worst part of the process. I found it, the plucking aspect, under the circumstances, to be the easiest. I set the temperature to about 160 degrees. Um, barring the odor, which um, you can't appreciate over the internet, um, I found this process to be rather simple. It stinks, I'll tell you that. Uh -huh. So they just go like that to see if the feathers start coming off. They're not coming off yet. Plus, this one might get. This is like wood. Like in the rain. This is like even wood. Oh, that's starting to come off. Yeah, I just saw like a bone or something. Or skin. Well, chickens don't have bones. No, no. Chickens do have bones. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at them coming day. off like that. Look at that. Coming right off. 
All right, so we're done, okay? That was quick. What do you do with the lights, though? Put them on. All right, you ready? We're going to go over to there. We're going to start taking the things off. Can I carry this? Uh, yeah, you can move the thing. Move take, it? No, don't take it off. Take the whole tripod. Uh -huh. I decided to use some rubber gloves, not required. Things went smoothly. Every feather came off without any problem, including the wings. Oh my god. Those turkey bones look like a hot little chicken. Chicken that we eat, I'm sorry. Actually worked pretty well. The head looks disgusting. <laughs> Can't believe people do this every day. I can hardly do it once. Okay. Well, I'm sure you get better at it. You're used to it. Killing chickens? No. You know, farmers had, on the farm, right, they had chickens, some they had chickens they had for eggs, and the other chickens they ate. That's how they lived, survived. We just go to the store. But somebody's doing this. Are we having a this for dinner tonight? No. no. So where are we going to put this? we them? could. Where are we going to put this? We could them? freeze it. Well, I, I have to still have to butcher it inside. What do you mean? Well, I still have to get get the certain parts out of it and, and cut it up and stuff like that. All right, you can stop the video for now. I didn't see very many small hairs or feathers, but as described by others to go through this process, I went ahead and did so. For the best butchering process, I just refer back to Russ's video. However, just keep a few things in mind. One, mentally prepare yourself for the smells of uncooked dead animals. If you're not a hunter, this may be unusual to you. Two, I found it a little creepy to have my hands inside a warm animal that was just alive 10 minutes ago. And three, and most importantly, don't expect this part of the process to go anywhere near as smooth as when Russ did it. He's a well-trained farm boy with lots of experience. You're going to have to work through it. But with that said, at the end of the day, once he came out of the oven, it was delicious, healthy, and a rewarding experience. And all of us had a better appreciation for farmers and the animals that provided to us. Thank you.